maintenant sans une ride, voici l'ouride. I don't like to get involved in past things. You hit me with a flower. Oh. I'm glad you asked me. I've got to take it off my back. I, I never thought of myself that way. They would get the most out of it if they listened to it in order. And then they could do what they want. Of course, I'm not there to uh, make them listen that way. I just thought they would enjoy it more if they listened all the way through because the songs are in a very specific order. I really like two guitars, bass, and drums a lot. Uh, when I have a good guitar player with me, uh, and I can find one who interacts so that you have one big guitar, that's uh, my favorite sound. So that's why I like two guitars and bass and drum as my, my favorite setup. Well. These songs are very much the product of eight years with Ronald Reagan. And uh, the legacy, they say, he left us. I'm very unhappy with the legacy. And uh, my record is about some of the legacy that he uh, is leaving us, and that I'm sure George Bush will continue to give us. Well, that's in the context of the song. It's the Statue of Liberty has always stood. Uh, it was a gift from France, a, uh, a symbol of liberty and a symbol for immigrants. Uh, the parents of my parents were immigrants. As my, everyone who lives in America is an immigrant except for the American Indian. So um, I think the promise that the Statue of Liberty stands for, give me you're hungry, you're tired, you're poor, is being betrayed by uh, the government now. Be uh, I've been interested in certain kinds of um, ecological kinds of things because I have a little farm outside New York where my wife and I ran into some difficulties over things that you would think in 1989 wouldn't be a problem, but they turned out to be a problem. And then with The Last Great American Whale, I wanted to, America's such a young country, I wanted to write a, uh, I thought it was such a shame all the myths seemed to have been taken up. Like, uh, I would have liked to have been the first one to figure out to write Oedipus, but it was already taken. So I wanted to write an American Indian myth and turn it into a little myth about uh, the land. Well, I don't want to get into a discussion about the Palestinian homeland. What I was interested in was uh, certain officials, both public and uh, in a non-official capacity, um, saying one thing and then some, sometimes doing another that I find offensive, that I find offensive personally. And so I think that rock and roll can comment about these things, and then we can always debate them. When I see you coming, I just gotta run. Uh, I certainly hope so. I, uh, since I first started making records, I wanted to make records that would appeal to an adult so that when you uh, listen to the record, you don't have to turn off the intelligent part of your mind because uh, there's lots of other music that can you can enjoy yourself to in many ways, and I like that music too. But for my own particular records, I want to do something that engages you, not only physically, but emotionally and intellectually. University. I was studying with Delmore Schwartz and Philip Booth, who's a poet, and I was also in a creative writing course, and then I was also at the same time uh, 
playing in bars to earn money. And what I did is I combined the two because I, I liked the guitar a lot. And I just thought it would be great to combine the writing with uh, the electric guitar. Et pour être sûr de ne rien rater de Inarditube, abonnez-vous et mettez un pouce bleu.